Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm going to walk you through how to fix WhatsApp notification sound problem. It's pretty quick and simple, so let's jump in. I'm on WhatsApp right now, and say that I'm getting a message and it's not showing up with a notification ring, or I'm not getting notified at all, or the sound is just gone. It was there before, or maybe it's never been there. I'm going to walk you through how to fix that. First, you want to go to your WhatsApp, like I'm on, and then go to settings, the bottom right hand corner, and then we're going to go to account. Actually, we're going to go to notifications, and here's where all the notifications are. So at the very top, it's going to say show notifications. If that's off, then you're not going to get them at all. So you want to make sure that's toggled on. On top of that, you want to make sure that it's not, um, your sound is not on none. It's on, you know, one of the defaults or a different one of your choosing. Then from there, we want to go out, and if all that's right, get out of WhatsApp, and we're going to go to our settings. And then we're going to go to notifications on our side in your app or in your phone, I mean. And you're going to find WhatsApp. Mine's at the very bottom. And so if you click on that and this is off, that means no matter what your app settings are in your, your, no, your WhatsApp app, if this is off, then your phone is not going to allow the notifications to come through. So you want to make sure that's toggled on and that sound is toggled on. And then if all of that fails, what we want to do, I mean, not all that fails, but if all of that is a, uh, is, properly set and working. Your um, next step is to just kind of reset the app. It's probably a glitch on their end. So to do that, we're gonna go to our settings again. We'll go to general, iPhone storage. And then we're gonna go ahead and find our WhatsApp, which is my, right at the top, click on that. And we're gonna offload the app. Offloading the app doesn't do anything to your your specific you know account data, but it does reset the groundwork of the app. So if there's any glitches or anything like the sound problem, it will reset. It's just like if you you know deleted the app from your phone and then re-downloaded it from the app store. So it's kind of just resetting it and freeing up storage and space in your phone. So we'll let that reinstall right now. All right, so it's just reinstalled on our phone, and we can go back and we can go to our app, and it should be working fine. You can go to your settings, go to notifications, make sure everything's back to appropriate settings, and you'll be good to go. If you guys have any questions on that, let us know in the comments below. If not, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe.